My name is John Mylant from EmpoweredInvestingNow.com and we are going to do some training on using the Relative Strength Index. Very valuable. It identifies the strength of the movement of the stock. Great indicator to use here. This is basically how it works. Known as the RSI, this indicator is used to identify the strength of the movement and then interpret it using numbers, 1 to 100 moves above and below certain thresholds identify the strength of the direction that it is moving in. This is very, very powerful for us. Here is how it works. A stock is considered overbought if its line goes above 70. And then it is considered oversold if the line goes below 30. So we can see whether it's overbought or oversold by whether it goes over those lines. Now, in terms of a trend, the center line, which has a number of 50, can be used to identify whether it has a bearish or a bullish lead. Readings above 50 means that there are more gains than losses. Readings below 50 means there are both more losses than gains. In this example, we can see it's above 50, so it has more gains than it does losses for quite a period of time also, and that helps us know how strong it is. In this particular instance, it's a very, very strong bullish. Now we're going to talk about divergences, which is the third one. The first positive divergence is formed when the stock has two consecutive lows. The second low is lower than the first, but on the RSI, the second low is higher than the first. This may very well determine the weakness of the downward trend. The signal of reversal will soon take place in the stock. See up there where we have the lower higher. Now the second one is going to be called a, a negative divergence. It's formed when a stock has two consecutive highs. The second is higher than the first high. But the RSI second high is lower than the first. This may very well determine the weakness of the upward trend. A signal of reversal will soon take place in the stock. Three ways to use the RSI. We're going to identify whether the stock is one of two things. It's either going to be overbought or it's going to be considered oversold. One of the two. The second way, if it's overbought, possible sales signal. If it's oversold, this will possible give us a buy signal. Now, we're going to determine whether it's bullish or bearish leans if the trend is above the 50 center line or not. As on this one, it is above the 50, so it would be more bullish. Now the third way is through divergences. They tell us what may be happening in the future with the stock and help us prepare for the initiation of a possible strategy in the future. Here we have a negative divergence where it's going up and then it gives us a signal that the stock may be going down. Here's a summary of three ways we're going to use the RSI to identify overbought and oversold conditions, to determine whether it is bullish or bearish leans over or under 50, and we're going to look for reversals through divergences. Now what I want to do is I want to give you an example of how we would read the RSI. It's not overbought or oversold, which means above 70 or below 30. It is a slightly bearish trend at 46.35, so we see it's leaning down. And then it has a negative divergence if we look at this. The way we would call this is we would say, listen, a reversal is coming. It is starting to trend with a bearish lean. 
prepare to make money as the stock goes down.